I have mixed feelings about this clip with Laura Loomer hmm. because I had totally forgot that she exists. <laughs> and on some level, that is what she's arguing happened to her. But then on another level, I'm like, I'm not obligated to know that Laura Loomer exists. She doesn't know that I exist. I don't know that she ever did. Am I an unperson because of that? Here Maybe. is Laura Loomer discussing her deplatforming um, with V Dare. Um, v Dare is how would you characterize them, Matt? Uh, just extremely far right, I think. I don't yeah. know specifically outside of that, yeah, but bad, yeah. yeah. Uh, Laura Loomer, you'll recall, uh, had changed herself to the Twitter corporate headquarters because she apparently had lost her Twitter account or her blue check. That's inspiring. I can't remember which one it was. I'm going to do that. If that happens soon. To me. Yeah, soon. Here's uh, their her interview. That takes a very heavy emotional toll on 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 you as well, because it's a form of psychological warfare, uh, because not only do you become do you become unpersoned in the digital public sphere where most people are communicating now, especially you know, as everything has really gone virtual uh, post COVID world. Uh, but um, they they try to make you a non person so that people just forget about you. Because let's be honest, right? No one really memorizes cell phone numbers anymore. Nobody right. really memorizes people's birthdays anymore. No, they rely on social media. Oh, oh, so and so just had a birthday. They posted their photo on Instagram. Let me go say hello. Oh, I haven't caught up with so and so in a long time. Let me go see what they're doing on Facebook or Twitter, right? And after a while, when you don't have a presence in the digital world, people forget about you. Not right. just fine, but in your personal life too. So it's a very lonely lifestyle. You know, it doesn't ever go away and it's a very lonely lifestyle. And it's kind of ironic because, you know, I guess in, in the, in the, in the literal sense, I'm famous, right? People think, oh, Laura Loomer is famous in, in the sense for being banned everywhere. And so despite having, you know, international fame, I'm a lonely person because they have made my life very lonely. Good. Happy about that. Um, you know what I I do picture? But let me just also say, okay. she's only famous because she got banned. Yeah. I, I don't even remember like anything that she did other than her reacting to getting banned. Yeah, she says uh, she's banned everywhere. <clears throat> what she means by that is, uh, on in addition to being banned from Twitter for you know anti Ilhan the Islamophobic bigotry, she's also banned from Uber and Lyft for <laughs> tweeting out. Someone needs to create a non-Islamic form of Uber or Lyft because I can never uh, want to support another Islamic immigrant driver. Mm. So uh, that's Uber and Lyft uh, banned her for that. So yeah, she keeps getting banned. And that was also the first time I'd heard of her when she got banned for saying that, that tweeting that stuff. You I know, I'm happy that she is living a lonely life. I really am. I think being a, a, a despicable person uh, sort of publicly will have consequences like that. Well, that's the thing is it's unfair that being despicable makes you unpopular. Although she has more popularity than your average person, obviously. Like, you know, I've never been invited to be on V Dare or whatever that is. But she's just not like, a person anymore. She's been unpersoned. She's, she got lumored. She's like in the back in the Back to the Future photo and just like slowly fading out, and everyone else around her is still there, but she, she got lumored. She got lumored. She says lonely, but she could say homeless. It could be a lot worse. Apparently, it's lucrative enough to keep you going somehow. Yep, she got loomered. Totally loomered. I don't know what you're, what you're That's doing. That's the name of her book. Oh. Loomered, How I Became the Most Banned Woman in the World. Yeah, that, that sounds like she's a person to me. One would imagine... She's that, turned her last name into a verb. One would imagine that we wouldn't have heard from the most banned woman in or the world. Or adjective? No. Right. I mean, almost anyway. like definitionally, if we know that, you, I mean, if you've got a publication, have you really been banned? I don't know. Unpersoned, Sam. Unpersoned.